done. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is having a wonderful and blessed Saturday. I just got to finish putting on my favorite socks, Bumbus. Yes. Because it's chilly in here and I can't. Is that FedEx? Okay, y'all. I'll be right back. FedEx is here. Right, y'all. So, whew. all right, y'all. Let me summon my calm right quick. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Try Time. Today is Saturday, December fifth, twenty twenty. Yes. Hunty, yes. So, we're going to go ahead and get set up right quick so we can get started. Whew. I slept a teeny bit too long. <laughs> but I'm here. I'm here. And I hope everybody is having a beautiful and blessed Saturday. Okay. Yes, we're going to have to watch the puff because it's tripping. And I have... A lot of videos to catch up on so after the live if you are interested in watching some new content I could tell you right now who has new videos up uh, Carmen Hawkins um, she's doing a Dooney and Burke comparison video looks like she's comparing the Kingston to the small statue um, fancy girl she um, I didn't quite see the title but I know she has a new video. Normally, if I see it on my timeline, I save it in my watch later because sometimes I go back to my timeline and I can't find stuff that I meant to watch. Um, Phenomenal Personality has a video up. It's a comparison video. And it looks like a very good comparison. She's comparing the Kira, the Tory Burch Kira, I believe, to the Coach Parker. It, am, am I correct? Is that what we're doing? Yes. And... um. Of course, Dooney Addict 615 has um, videos up for day one through three of 12 days of Dooney, but I'm sure she'll have day four up not long after they post day four. Usually, they, I think day four probably went up right now. They usually post at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's after 11, so I think I'm safe to assume that they've already posted. Uh, DJ King has a video every Saturday. I just haven't been on yet to see what the video of the day is. Um, she hasn't posted a video today, but she did post one two days ago. Aren't you glad I did this? Yes, I will be watching that. Like I told you, if I don't get a chance to watch it, I put it in my watch later and I go back to it and I watch. Uh, Suz what? Happy birthday, Suz, again. Yay. Suz what recently put up a couple of videos, <laughs> for real, for real, and, um, where she showed, when, um, the Scotty bags. I used to love, I love that Scotty bag print, but it never was in a style that I particularly wanted. So I just kind of wanted the wristlets and those got away from me too. Womp, womp, womp. So if you're interested in that, also um, 
She has a video up just kind of briefly showing us what the Dooney selection looks like at the QVC outlet. That is on my bucket list. One day, one day, one day. Okay. So <laughs> for real, for real. Uh, I'm trying to see who else has videos up. I want to say I watched Brandy 215's video on her saddlebag. Like I said, there's a lot of people with new content up lv lux girl she posts almost every day and her content is really good um i'm trying to see who else but anyway that's not what we can i'm just saying if y'all need something to watch you know today these are some good videos to watch hunty yes uh because my timeline be tripping <laughs> for real for real and it's really weird because sometimes they will post stuff that for people I'm not even subscribed to. YouTube, if you're listening, please stop that. I don't if I want to watch it, I'll go find it. But yeah. Anyway, if you're interested in just looking at all the selections for Candle Day, I subscribe to this YouTuber named Tina Marie. T-I-N-A M-A-R-I-E. Two words. And um, she does candles. Uh, bath and body work stuff mostly bath and body work stuff but if you're interested in seeing what candle day look like in her area so you can see why some of us got excited about candle day i'm telling you if you shop candle day your first day you will lose your mind because there are candles 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 everywhere okay uh i will do a candle day haul later on today i promise <laughs> but anyway I'm trying to see, did I forget anybody um, else that has recent content up? But like I said, just, just check out my sisters in my handbag community. We always have something up. I'm, I'm so for real. Oh, Candy Question, my second favorite enabler. She posted a video, her 12 days of Dooney fail. Um, hey, just go over, give her some advice on your thoughts. But at the end of the day, anytime you buy a bag, it is up to you about whether or not you're happy with it or not. Because if it was me, if you're going to go by my opinion, I'm just telling you, honestly, my trial sister tell you, I send that back in a heartbeat. Mm -mm, nope. Pay too much money. Pay too much money. All right, y'all. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Again, today is Saturday. December 5th, 2020, and it's time for tribe time with your girl, Mrs. Q, for real, for real. Okay, so what I'm going to do right quick, I'm trying to find the volume. I have my handy dandy. I'm trying to find the volume. I have my handy dandy. Okay, so what I'm going to do right quick, I'm trying to find the volume. I have my handy dandy. Chromebook. <laughs> so she's going to aid us today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, with the roll call, with the roll call. We're just going to run through it right quick right today. Hello, Shanny Boo, Shanny Boo. Hi, Phenomenal Personality. Hey, Keisha M. Miss Angie, hello, right back at you. Hi, Lucinda Quimley. Good morning, good afternoon to everybody. Hi, Carmen Hawkins. Again, says what? Hey. All right. Hi, Press Delighted. Happy Star Vibe. Hi, Dancing with Nature 925. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Rosalind Ellis. Still have you in my prayers. Let me see who else. Did I miss anybody? Hi, DJ King. Um, you didn't post anything today, but I'll be over to watch your latest video as soon as I get off. Um <laughs> Hi, Susan R. Long time no see. Thanks for coming out. A fellow Brahmanista. Yes. All right, let's see who else. I think that's just about everybody that's on today. Hey, Sissy Carmen Hawkins. Can't remember if I spoke or not, but I'm speaking now. All right, so I know y'all saw the thumbnail. <laughs> I know y'all saw it. I know. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday and i'm going to tell y'all 
why I'm saying that. Some of you who have been rocking with my lives already know why I'm saying that. But um, let's go ahead. As soon as I get this up, we're going to go ahead with the unboxing. Y'all know we, at you know, for trial time for the most part, love to give y'all an unboxing. <laughs> yes, we sure do. So I figure why not? Let's go ahead and kick this trial time off with an unboxing. And, um... Yes. All right. Let's see what it's called. Okay. So We'll find it in a minute. Let's get down to business, shall we? Come on, won't you take over? It's hard to let it go once you lose control. The call won't you take over? You do what's right for you, and I'll do what's right for me. Okay, now I know y'all seen this bad. Um, on in the ads i first saw this bag um on it wasn't sex fifth avenue i can't remember the website right now i hate when i do this i get on trial time and have brain freezes but anyway however i was first thing i said when i saw the bag i'm like those are two different patterns they complement each other as far as color wise but Aren't they fighting with each other? But then at the, I kept coming back to the bag, kept coming back to the bag, and I fell in love with the bag. So y'all know me. I said, hey, why not? <laughs> so shout out to my coach sales associate at the Shops of Locatera Coach Boutique, Gina. Hi, Gina. Okay. Finally. Okay. So I was going to say this for Christmas, but I'm like, why should I? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, Coach just gave us red ribbon, no gold, no coach on it or nothing this year. Yeah. I'm trying to keep the rant to a minimum <laughs> today. All right. Y'all ready? <sighs> See, this is one of the things... We love about coach packaging, gift packaging. You know, nah, I mean, all right. So here she is, live and in living color. The coach be bad. Hey, Sissy Kimberly, mine. go with the particulars right quick shall we for those of you who have not seen her all right first thing you notice is the coach signature pattern right right I love this buckle um, if you haven't noticed the buckle is really a C you know what I'm saying the hardware is beautiful. I always did love their signature canvas. Um, I have several bags in it. Is that proof that I love it? Okay, then. Anyway. So, hey, b star Yes. Yeah, so, what I meant by patterns fighting with each other, it has a magnetic snap closure. That's what I meant, okay? It has this pattern at the bottom which some of you may notice from some of the um, Dooney totes, not Dooney totes, coach totes from this pattern. They had it in this color, 
Um, they had it in blue and light blue, yellow, green. I mean, the horse and carriage print. I, I love this print because as you can see, it's two different light browns in there with a chocolate brown. And see, this is what I mean by they complement each other. Light brown. Two light browns, two light browns. Just want to get y'all a close-up of that pattern. Because at first when you look at it, it looks busy. Then when you look at it, the colors kind of mesh together. And I think that's what I like about it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and finish checking out the bag. Magnetic closure. As you can see, it has the gold hardware rust color. Hi, the clouds of dive, my favorite enabler. Hi, Miss Angie. On the side, you see the gussets on the side. Gives you an idea how, you know, wide it is. There's your hang tag in rust. I love the rust color. Oh, my gosh. And then, of course, it's trimmed in that oxblood looking color. But it's more like a ox, rustic oxblood. I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, so on the other side, mirrors the other side. Here's the bottom. There are no feet, so it's going to sit on the seals. Okay? Love it. Okay, so yes, as far as size, this is a medium bag. For those of you who are new to my channel, that means a bag that's small but not quite medium. It's in between. That's what I mean by medium bag. Okay? So now... Let's get to the inside, okay? We're going to go over the inside first. Now, it does have this microfiber suede stuff. Now, some of y'all asked me a question why I don't really like this. Because depending on what color it is, if you have anything white or light colored that you put in your bag next to this, sometimes it will turn colors. For real, for real. I can't remember my one tabby bag. You know, the smushy shoulder one that I got the pretty strap with. Okay, my Apple earbuds, iPods, iBuds, whatever you want to call them. The case was turning like a blackish gray from being in there. Because this is in the pocket. From being in there, rubbing up against, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why I don't really like microfiber. Okay, but depending on where it is, I'm okay with it. And besides, leather is just easier to clean. You wipe it and you keep on going. No fuss, no muss. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I, I'm not too bothered by that. Let's go ahead and look on the inside. As you can see, you have three compartments and a pocket. So let's get into the first pocket. Okay, so in the first pocket, that's leather, which is good. I like that. Okay, and it also has, see how that microfiber is in there? So if you're putting anything light colored in this pocket, you might want to rethink that. <laughs> okay, I can't find my, um, my eye buds to show y'all what I'm talking about, but one, once I do, I'll put a picture in my community tab and on my Instagram, okay? So, microfiber inside. That's the first pocket. Then you got this middle zip compartment. Now, most people, there are, I'm not going to say most people. There are a lot of people out there that don't like a middle zip compartment. But there are some that do. Depending on the bag, I'm one of the ones that do. So, there's your zip pocket. Come on now. Let's get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Did I open it? There it is. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take the paper out. Maybe that'll help. All right. I'm trying to see. That's material. And that's the pocket. More than likely, that'll probably be where I keep my wallets or anything that I don't want to fall out of my bag. Okay, so you got the zipper compartment. Then, there's my dust bag. You have this back pocket right there. Okay. 
and you don't have a back zip pocket however you do have a slide pocket that has a snap now some people might not like that snap but for me i would use that as sort of kind of like a divider okay so there you have it put it up close again so you can see each compartment one zipper compartment compartment slide pocket okay now magnetic snap closure and what i like about this one is it's no ordinary magnetic snap closure see that right there see how i got the little ball on it on the tip that's gonna help it snap in there and not be so easy to come off you see what i'm saying so it's magnetic i don't know what they call it <laughs> and then of course on the back you do have a backslide pocket big enough for your phone now let's get with how are we gonna carry this bag boy or girl i don't know why i was saying that anyway so she has three ways of carrying her okay so first way which is obvious is the strap beautiful strap in rust okay do y'all see these holes right here if you're a dunanista or brahmanista y'all already know what these holes mean <laughs> okay <laughs> so that's one of the things that i'm kind of not liking then that's the shoulder strap can be used for shoulder and crossbody then of course we have a handle nice right okay oh that's the other part of the strap i'm sorry y'all here's the handle right here let me go ahead and take this off right quick this one is detachable if you detach it pull this through there that's why i say do me Nistas and Brahmanistas know what them holes mean, okay? <laughs> the Kingston has it, and um, all Brahman straps have them, just for the most part, okay? So this is the handle, and it is not attachable, all right? So that's another way. And then the piece de resistance. Okay. If I could slide it out, I'd just slide it off. The chain. Which I said, Coach missed out on the opportunity of giving us the C chain. Which it kind of looks like it if you look at it kind of from a distance. But it's still a nice size, nice, nice weight. Now, why did I just lie and say that this handle doesn't come off? Because just looking at it just now, it does. Okay, so you can take that off if you want. Okay, that shows you I wasn't paying attention to the demonstration. <laughs> this can come off also if you want. So if you want to just carry it with the strap, let's go ahead and put the strap together. All right, pain in my side. So I'm just going to put it on the shortest settings for right now. Excuse me longest settings for right now so you just put it in the hole the little bow up bow up part in the hole and you pull told y'all hate these <laughs> but hey at least y'all know it's gonna stay <laughs> it's gonna stay there all right y'all technical difficulties So, this is the strap at its longest setting. All right. So, it can go cross by. I'm five, three and a half. Sits right here at my hip. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. This is what it looks like without the chain. So, if you don't want the chain on here or the handle on here, you can take those two off. 
However, the strap, you have to pull it through those little thingies in order to take the strap off. I'm sorry, y'all. I love y'all, but I'm not doing that today. <laughs> for real, for real. I just had problems just putting it on. Okay, so let's look at it on the shortest sitting. And yes, this does wrinkle. Not for the most part, but you can see it. All right, so we are gonna put it on the shortest settings. Of course it has the little loop to help keep it in check. Come on. Okay, there she is, shoulder. So, right above my hip, five, three and a half. Okay, that's what she looks like without the chain. To me, that chain kind of adds a slight sophisticated look. There she is with the chain. Okay, so if you want to take the time out to take this long strap out, knock yourself out. Not me today. You can also just carry it with the chain. Right? It'll look like this, which none of us, I don't foresee us walking around with that strap hanging down like that. But if you want to take it off, it is possible it's just going to be a little bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> However, let's put her handle on. I think that is so different than the clasp is right there. And that's how you do it. And that's the look that we're used to seeing it. Okay. So, yeah. So, how does it look without the chain and the strap? Hold up, y'all. I don't have my scissors. That's how I look without the chain. But you have the strap and the handle. So one bag, three ways of carrying her, or you could just carry all three at the same time. At the same darn time. The same darn time. But for me... I will be carrying mine no matter whether or not I take the strap off or I leave it on. More than likely, I'll be carrying it with the chain. <laughs> I, I took, me too, phenomenal personality. I love the hardware on this bag. It's different. Um, let me take this off so y'all can show y'all. The loop on this bag see how it has that splitter on there so they have it right here in the middle so it won't interfere with this on the top genius genius so yeah so even if you take this off And you put just the chain on the top of there. See, they won't interfere with each other. Because of that split right there. Then, of course, yes. So, say hi to my new Coach B bag, y'all. <laughs> okay, so, yes. And what I did decide to do, which sometimes I don't do, but because of the micro fiber on the inside, I did decide to buy a wallet to go with her. Yeah, because the wallet I have to go with Miss Parker is black with the rivets. So unfortunately, I couldn't swap this out. 
and I didn't buy a wallet in the brown horse and carriage print. Womp, womp, womp. Mine is blue. Anyway, so here's my wallet. Isn't she cute? See, she got the horse and carriage print. So if you put it at the bottom, there we go. We matching. Now they have um, a bee bag like this and it has all these little like appliques like what's on here all over the bag. No, uh, to me that was doing a little bit too much for me but hey if you like it rock on with your bad self but this is me this is calm me okay this is downsized wallet and um even though some of my wallets can fit in these medium bags i have more space if i downsize my wallet besides a lot of those cards i don't need when i'm going out so yeah but anyway um the number on the coach b bag is Okay, there are two numbers on here. C2418. C2418. Let's see if y'all can see that. And of course, it is on the coach website. And uh, this is my little wallet. So, first off, it got the hearts, it got the New York skyline with the little drip. I like that because it's like mirroring the skyline. And they got the little, see the little sparkle? New York, New York. Snap closure. All right. Look at the inside of that. Isn't that pretty? You got six credit card slots. One, two, seven. Am I counting it right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Six credit card slots. Slide pocket there. Slide pocket there bill compartment i'm sorry i have to have a bill compartment if i don't have a bill compartment i'm lost i don't know why maybe it's just the old school let me <laughs> for real for real and of course that's that rust leather it's smooth leather but the color rust and a light brown and a chocolate brown to coincide with the colors on the outside of the wallet love her then you got the zipper compartment of course for your change but it's divided so you could put change on one side tokens in the other one um i i don't know okay and this is the new york city print signature crg bluff wallet item number c0850 okay so yeah so i went ahead this was 30 percent off at coach and i wanted to carry it before I, I i just didn't stop this one i wanted to carry it because i wanted to carry my bag which um i'm going to carry her next week <laughs> for real for real so yeah but um so that's the beat bag all right and um the little matching wallet i got to go with it um let me see here All right, so we can put it, if we want, in the middle. But for some reason, see how it, it makes that pocket wide? So more than likely, we'll put her probably in the front. Now, she goes out further than that. It's just some, some stuffing in there that I don't feel like taking out. But I'm going to take out for y'all because I love y'all. <laughs> All right. Just give y'all an idea. There she is. So see how this much room? Now, if I would have had one of my other wallets, it took over half the space in this bag. So that's why with my small bags, I start buying wallets or smaller wallets. I tried finding something that was neutral. Yeah, I don't be feeling that sometimes. <laughs> But I still do that, okay? So, yeah. So, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're working with right, right now. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead. And that is the beat bag. I hope y'all have enjoyed seeing her. 
Shout out to Gina. Thank you, Gina. All right. Now, the time that I've been dreading. And I'll take with me the memory to be my sunshine after the rain is so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. I don't know just where the road is going to lead. Well, well, I can't say that because, um, <laughs> sorry, Miss Parker. Anyway, I know y'all think she's still packing like it's brand new. Hey, this is my favorite Parker. She was the beginning. She was a uh, alpha. I love her. I love her. So, per my sales associate, Gina, shout out. And she'll tell y'all I had a little conniption fit <laughs> when I heard the news that they are retiring the Parker. I know, right? And I was like, but why, Gina, why? Why, Gina, why? She said... Yes, Mel A. How you doing? They, she said they are retiring the Parker. It is true. And she said that because Miss Parker been around a long time, they're trying to move ahead with change. So they retiring her and replacing her with Miss B. Now, maybe it's just me, but Miss B don't really look like miss parker <laughs> for real for real it looks like cassie and one of the other bags had a baby <laughs> and then it was b but yeah this is the bag they say is replacing miss parker and you know why because even at regular price this bag is selling out just like miss parker did when she first came out Yes, they J. King, they should have called me and got my advice on this. They did not. <laughs> they did not. Because I love, I, I, I love both of them, but I love her more. I love you more. We turned this house into a home. You let me know I wasn't in it alone. Oh, you were the first, the first for me. I love you, Miss Parker. Please don't go. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. So anyway, let's take a look at Miss Beat versus Miss Parker. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get Miss Chromebook out for this because I'm still trying to figure out what they were thinking as to how that bag beat bag replaces miss parker because to me it does not it does not so we're going to go to coach.com and we're going to look at because if anything the madison shoulder bag looks more like the parker to me mm -hmm, for real for real now if you got another device that you can go to the internet on you can look at the um I call it Maddie, the Madison shoulder bag, and you'll see that it looks like the Parker and um, Miss Cassie had a baby. <laughs> but hey, that that it is what it is. I mean, Lord, Lord, Lord. So let's look at some measurements, shall we? I still can't believe they were tiring this bag. Why, coach? Why? 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 Oh, the 
understand. Okay, so I'm trying to find. Don't tell me they done took it off the website. Okay, coach, you about to make me mad. Coach is about to make me mad. Because I can't find it on their website. <laughs> I mean, I, I see it on the UK website. But I don't see it on the uscoach.com website. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me just search another way. Because they, they, they making me mad. Anyway. Oh, gosh. All right. So, let's go with Miss Parker first. Miss Parker is 10 and 1 fourth inches in length, 7 inches in height, and 4 inches in width. Whereas the coach beat bag, now these are from the coach website, these measurements are, so if I'm lying, I'm lying behind them. 9 and 3 fourth inches in length, 7 inches in height, and 4 inches in width. So, they're supposed to be the same height, the same width. And the bead bag is 9 and 3 fourth inches in length, whereas Miss Parker is 10 and 1 fourth inches in length. Anyway, both made out of refined, um, out of leather, inside zip pocket, Turn lock closure, um, outside slip pocket, convertible handles. Now, the Miss Parker has a convertible handle with 19 and 1 fourth inch drop. She only has one chain strap drop, whereas Miss <laughs> um, Beat has 21 and a half inch drop for the shoulder crossbody wear. So you can adjust her up to that just a little bit longer. And she has a detachable strain, strain, chain strap with a nine inch drop. And then the handle is a four and a half inch drop. Now, is it me or with Miss Parker? Hey, um, Dooney Addy 615, high noble strength. Um, Miss Parker don't need all them straps to do that. Okay, so let's look at Miss Parker. All right, for those of you who have never seen her, okay. She has signature coated canvas, coach signature coated canvas. Then she has the smooth um, leather, black on the top with rivets. These flowers were added, okay? No feet. Color block. Then she has snake skin on the side. Here's your coach hang tag. A back pocket. All the things that Miss B have. I ain't saying Miss B ain't, ain't, ain't pretty, but I'm just saying. She has one chain strap. Handle, right? Shoulder crossbody, right there, right there. One strap, one strap. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just saying. So then you open her up, turn lock closure, front pocket. Then you have the front slide, zip, a slide, and another pocket in the back, just like Miss B. Now. We're going to put these side by side. See, like I said, in order for Miss B to do everything that Miss Parker does, she what? She need three different straps to do it. <laughs> three different straps to do it. Okay? So, I'm going to put them side by side. Okay, so, let me see here. Miss B looks a TT bit taller. So how can they be the same height? It's because she sits up on her, her seals. Is that it? Because she's a little bit taller. Okay. We're going to take this off so y'all can see. There, can y'all see it better? There we go. See what I'm saying? So Miss Parker is just slightly shorter okay 
Then, okay, yeah, see, she sits right there, see? I guess they're not counting the height that this gives to it because if you look at it, see from the side, that's what I, what I mean. But in their mind, she's the same height. So I guess they mean it from here to here, like the Parker. If you do that, then yeah, they would be the same height. But if you just sit them down like on a table, you can see it better. They're not the same height. So I can see it better. Okay, see that? But like I said, if you look at the bottom, if you raise it up to where the bottom of your stuff would come at in the bead, then yes, they are the same height. Okay? So, turn lock closure, snap and closure. All right? They both have a back pocket. Okie doke. I'm going to take this out just so we can see more better. All right. Okay, so they both have a back pocket. Now, let's look at the width. Okay. Yeah, this pocket is. Turn it around so y'all can see. A little bit longer. If we look at the width, let's see. So, yeah. It is a little bit longer, because here is Miss Parker right here. Just a teeny bit, per the measurements, okay? And the inside, basically, they mirror each other. Let's see if I can get that open for y'all. The only thing is, mm, this one doesn't have that front slide pocket seat right here on the outside, but the inside, of the bags mirror each other. Okay? Well, you can't hold up. See, that's the little slide pocket right there. One, zipper, two. So, the only thing the big bag doesn't have is this right here. <clears throat> Which, as some of you all who also love Parkers know, that some Parkers don't have that either. I'm mostly a fan of the ones that do. And don't ask me why, because a lot of times I don't even use that pocket. Okay? So, yeah. So, that's the beat compared to Miss Parker. <laughs> and I'll take with me the memories to be my sunshine. After the rain, it's so hard to say goodbye. What am I doing? It ain't like I'm going to stop carrying her. <laughs> for real, for real. But anyway, yeah. So whatever Parker you want to get, if you see it at the outlet, you know, you can wait on them to come to the outlet. I think they have, I haven't seen them in the boutiques. They might still be on the Coach Boutique site. You can wait for them to come to the outlet, but I'm just letting you know, Miss Parker is retired. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. Sorry, y'all. She's retired. And, um, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. I, hey. Sometimes all good things must come to an end, depending on which brand you're going to. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to think. Does Coach have that one staple bag that's been around for a long, long time? You know what I'm saying? Like, Dooney and Burke has the small satchel, medium satchel. You know what I'm saying? That's one of Dooney and Burke's staple bags. It's been around for a long time. Uh, Brahmin has the Duxbury 
Mini Duxbury, Duxbury, and Large Duxbury. Yes, there are three Duxburys. <laughs> so, the coach Willis, 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 Willis. The Willis? Coach Willis. They still make the Willis? Hmm. Okay. So, anyway, let's see if we have any questions. We're going to go to our handy dandy Chromebook here so I can see better and it don't look like I'm crouching into the camera. Yes. So, any questions? Comments? We like the beat bag. We don't like the beat bag. We like Parker. We don't like Parker. <laughs> All right. Let me see here. So, um, I have eight Parkers, I believe. I think I have eight. I have a video up of the ones that I do have. I'm trying to think. I want to say somebody had a video on what fits, fits into the beat bag. That's going to have to be my next video. Yeah, the, the room in the beat bag, to me, it is comparable to the Parker. You know, but I, I still love my Parker. Okay, Miss Chromebook is tripping because the chat is not moving. <laughs> So we're going to refresh it and see if that's going to help. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do a video of what fits in the beat bag. And Beverly Johnson's, hey girl, how you doing? I like the room in the in the beat bag as well. Because like I said, it, it is comparable to the um, Parker. But Phenomenal Person says she has eight Parkers. I think I have eight too. <laughs> I did a Parker collection video. Um, it's it's up on my channel. I'm trying to think was all eight in there. I want to say I did. I want to say yeah, it was eight because I think I did seven and then I unboxed one. Yeah, I do have that video on my channel. Okay, the duffel coach bag. Yeah, that, that could be it. And um, what I mean by staple bag is a bag that they have sold over the years, never retired, never stopped making it. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about a bag that didn't have a comeback is what I'm trying to say when I say a staple bag. You see what I'm saying? Because Dooney and Burt, no matter what, they have always sold the medium and small satchels. Brahmin, no matter what, since day one, has always sold a Duxbury. Mel A asks, do I like the B18? I can't do that small. The Parker, basically the size of the Parker... Uh, depending on where I'm going is what's going to depend on the size. And I don't go to enough events or places to where I could do that bag because to me, it is too small for me. Yes, I think Dooney should add to their, their uh, classes too, Dooney at 615. But that's what I'm saying about um, Coach. They don't have one bag that since day one, they have continued to make, not stop making and brought it back, but have continued to make. You see what I'm saying? And um, I, to me, the Parker has been around a minute. It's not as old as Willis, but remember, they stopped making Willis and then they brought Willis back because that's how I was able to get my Hunter Green one. Right. Really says what? The Lexington. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to remember the Lexington. <laughs> 
Okay, Crystal Malone says she likes the beat, beat cluck, clutch. Oh, here we go again. Better. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, yes. Um, also, phenomenal personality. Don't you have a um, Parker video, a Parker collection video? I want to, I, I think you did say you, I, I want to say you did. I remember seeing one, I think. You know what? I, I don't think they ever stopped making the dinky. Because I used to have a dinky. Maybe that's it. Does anyone know if they ever stopped making the dinky? Because I remember the dinky in the 90s. Um, I had one. It was like a light teal greenish. It was really pretty. Oh, man. Huh. Well, maybe that's it. <laughs> the dinky. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, the dinky is being retired again. Crystal Mahoney says the dinky is being retired again. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> Why are they retiring the dinky? The dinky could possibly be, I say, a staple bag because they've not only... I've always remembered a dinky, maybe not since day one, but I wasn't in the coach yet since day one. But in the 90s, I do remember dinky, and then they made it in different sizes. So, hmm. All right, y'all. So, I'm trying to think. But, yes, we're going to do a video about what fits in the beat bag. Um, That's what I'm going to do my next video on. I'm going to do some more filming today. I didn't like the way some of my videos came out. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> and um, also, later on today, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my candle day haul for those of you who are interested. Um, not only am I going to show you my candle day haul, I am going to show you my stash. <laughs> And see, some of y'all think it might be as bigger than what it is. It's not compared to some. I'm telling you, if you go on, um, go if you're on Facebook, look up Facebook Bath and Body Works or Candle Day. If you're in a group, you already seen some of the collections. Even if you're on Instagram, I'm telling y'all, I follow this Instagrammer. Is underscore Sits galore. I think it S C E N T S G A L O R. I think it's the way exactly the way it's spelled. And she has a picture of what I was telling y'all about last night about how one candle has all these, and it's the exact one I was telling y'all about strawberry pound cake. She has a picture of all the different packaging of strawberry pound cake. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. I'm so serious. Matter of fact. For my thumbnail. No, I'm going to put it on my community page. How about that? So y'all can see what I was talking about. But yes, we're going to come back at 1 o'clock. I'm determined to stay in this house. I only got to go out to get some milk and some bread. Because Mr. Q didn't have no bread. He had one slice of bread for his ribs. Child, that man, he a trip. So we're going to have to go get some bread. <laughs> For real, for real. Uh, but I'm going to do that after candle day. Okay. So I'll be back at 1 o'clock. And we're going to do. Um, I'm going to first show y'all my candle day. My candle stash. And then I'm going to show y'all my candle day haul. How about that? All right. Um, and as of this morning. All the candles are still marked sold out on bathandbodyworks.com. So, yeah. Anyway, any other questions, comments? I'm just saying, y'all want to see Miss Beat again? Here she is without the chain. And um, what I do with the chain? And without the handle. I'm going to go ahead and put the handle on. And the chain has got a little weight to it. But I still 
like it with the chain. That's Miss Beat. And then Miss Parker. Miss Parker. All right, y'all. And see what I mean about the pattern, right? Same color scheme. Hey, the closet dial, my favorite enabler. So, yeah, I hope y'all have enjoyed this uh, episode of Trial Time. And um, for those of you who are interested, I will see y'all in my Candle Day haul slash candle <laughs> stash video. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye. See y'all next time. Okay.